hi guys welcome again in the last video we created the login form now let's see how we can make it functional remember we will have only one admin and we will add the admin account from firebase as it is for managing our application so we do not require registration and other features so let's make the login in the panel and for this we need to create a project in our firebase console as we are going to use firebase for our applications backend so open your firebase console and click here add project okay and then put a name let's give it wallpaper app or my wallpaper app and you can give any name and then click on this button create project and it will create a new firebase project now hit here and continue and you have a new firebase project created now click here in authentication okay and then sign in method now we are going to use email and password authentication so enable this thing and hit on save remember we do not have any registration in our admin panel so we need to add a new user from here okay so we will click on add user and we will give the user email i am giving my email and let's put password okay so this is my email and this is my password some error occurred let's try again you see the user is added okay now this user will log in in the admin panel okay and if you want to add new users you can do it from here now first we need to add this project to our web project okay for this click here in project overview and then click here add firebase to your web app okay so we will click here now what we need to do is we need to copy this line from here and then we need to paste it in the head tag of our index.html okay so let's paste this thing here okay so we have firebase added okay this line is for firebase this line is added here now go back and copy this thing okay copy this and remember we created a file named app.js open this file and in the top of this file we will paste this thing here okay so we have firebase initialized now what we need to do is we need to perform the login okay so we will perform the login here when the button when the login button is clicked so the first thing is we need to get the entered email and password and you remember we have given ids to input fields id is email and id is password so we can use these ids to get the entered values so come here and let's create a var here var email equals to email dot val var password equals to password dot val so we have the value what is entered in the input fields now we need to authenticate the user so this is very simple if we are using firebase so what we will do is we will call the method sign in with email and password okay so let's call this method we will write firebase dot auth dot sign in with email and password okay and here we need to pass in this method we need to pass the email and password so let's do it we have the email and password here so we will write email and password now this sign in with email and password 
return some result so we can store the result in another var named result you can give any name to your variables that doesn't matter now in the result we can catch the result okay so write result dot catch and it takes a function which takes a parameter and we can name it error now we can simply get the error code if there is any from this error variable and then where so we have the error code and error message from this result now if there is any error we will get these values and we can simply display these values to console so we can write console.log okay so we have the console.log error code and error message okay that's it for the login now one more thing we need to do is we need to store the login session and for this we can call firebase dot auth dot auth dot persistence dot local okay by writing this we define that if we close the browser then the session is stored and again if we will open the browser the user is logged in if you will not write this thing then if you close the browser the user is automatically logged out okay so you can write this thing if you want so we have the login completed now what we need to do is we need to check the user login status okay and for this inside index.html after attaching the app.js we can write some other script Okay, and inside this script, we can write Firebase dot auth dot on auth state changed. Okay, now it takes a function which gives us a user. Okay, now whenever the authentication status is changed. this method will be called and inside this method if there is a user that means the user is logged in if not that means the user is not logged in okay so we actually do not need this else part because we are inside the login page and here we will check if the user is logged in we will open the page we will open the admin page that we want to display after the successful login okay so we can write here window dot location dot href equals to admin dot html and we will create this file so let's create this file inside the public folder we will create a new file and we will name it admin dot html and here we will write the simple html first okay now we also need to attach this app.js file here in this admin page so we will do it here and we will copy this thing as well if the user is not logged in we will open the login page from the admin page okay so here we will redirect to index.html if there is no user so we we added a not operator here if not user then we will go to the index.html page that means if the user is not logged in then we will open the login page then what else we need to do is we need to copy everything from the head 
because we are going to use bootstrap we are going to use firebase we are going to use our custom css and jquery in this page as well so we have to add everything here so that's it for now now let's test if it is working or not okay open browser and write so you see we are not logged in so we will put the email and password one two three four five six okay then we will click on this login you see we are inside the admin.html page you see now if we will open the index.html page we will automatically come inside admin.html page okay so this is how we created login with firebase using some jquery and javascript so that's it for this video guys if you found this video helpful please hit on the like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed and please share this video with your friends who want to learn application development and if you are having any confusions queries or questions please leave that in the comment below okay thanks for watching guys i will see you in the next video bye bye